What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It is your boy MM2K back again with another video. Hey, yo, do me a huge favor before we get into this one hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, rock those bells for notifications, please. That's that way. I can't even talk, y'all. <laughs> that way, you know, when we dropping them doses, I appreciate all of y'all straight up because you know I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. Okay, so on this platform, we're here to talk about Stadia. It's all Stadia, everything Stadia. We're here to combat lies. But on top of combating lies, I like to inform people and I like to engage in fruitful discussions. Okay, so in order to do that, because I don't shy away from any other different differentiating points of view, you know what I'm saying? That's how you have a discussion. People bring up their point of view. I bring up mine. I don't want to just be sitting here preaching to the choir. To help that, that piece of this platform, I would like to take some of the comments out of the comment section of my videos, not to ridicule them or make fun of anybody, but there'll be some big time discussions that I be having with people, with supporters of my platforms, you know what I'm saying? That I want the whole world to be able to see through the videos, right? Um, so I'm going to start that right now. So one of those discussions happened in one of my more recent videos here on, on the Stadia dosage. And the video was labeled Stadia Spotlight with ShareStadia.com talks essentials for great Stadia experience, right? Now, one of the things that happens in this community, and I get it, you get a lot of people that want to be armchair quarterbacks. And I get it. I'm a content creator and you listening may not be. So I'm going to make the investments and buy the stuff and play it. I'm not going to sit there and listen to Linus Tech or listen to uh, um, Digital Foundry or whatever. I'm going to get the stuff myself, right? And I get where you may not do that because you're not a content creator. But I'll go get the stuff tested, find out irregularities in the stuff that those bigger names have been saying, and I'll bring them here to this platform, and I get a lot of pushback, right? Because they're bigger names. And they're thinking, why would so-and-so lie? Well, what y'all don't understand is that YouTube is a platform that's predicated on lying and over-exaggerating, so people get what? More money. If that hasn't sunk in yet, then I have not done my job in educating you. But I'm gonna keep trying. That's why I keep repeating myself. If I wanted to jump into that foray and lie like everybody else, I would have way more subscribers. I get told that all the time. But I try to hold some integrity here, whether you agree with me or not. So I'll be stuck with my five, 600 people. That's all right. As long as I know that my people are authentically and are organically following me, whether they agree with me or not, I'm happy. Because I'm doing my part and trying to spread the truth, whether you like it or not. Now, why did I go into all that hoopla about that? Because a big time follower of mine, a big supporter of mine, Cold Blood Sensei, and I hope you don't mind me doing this, but Cold Blood Sensei is one of those individuals that often comes back to me with feedback from other sources. And I keep telling him, no, bro, it's, it's not what you're being, it's not how you're being told. At the end of the day, I'm going to show you a set of facts and those set of facts still might not make Stadia a platform for you, but it's not this cluster blank that they're trying to make it out to be. Okay. So here's something that my homie cold blood since a big time supporter of my content, he's donate, you know, done stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate cold blood so much. And he brought up an interesting point. He says pretty much to me, most explain to me why I should care when talking about my, my video here. He says, the games are more expensive on Stadia. They run like ish, and I have to pay a monthly fee just to use all the features. Where is this literally none of them out right now other than fake 4K60? Okay, so in response to that, I said to my homie Cold Blood, I can only explain to you if you're interested in facts, because like I said earlier, me and him go back and forth all the time, and I appreciate it. I want him to continue to do that because that helps me gauge how well of a job I'm doing. If he's convinced, or if he goes out and he tries it and discovers the truth for his own, then I'm making leeway, right? So I say, 
I can only explain to you if you're interested in facts. Saying that the games run like ish, when I and people who have even doubted the platform have more often than not shown otherwise, I'm not sure if you're open-minded enough to even to ever care. Fact is, point one, when under recommended, recommended settings, the games run fantastic. I've showed it plenty of times, like on my Twitch channel and so forth. Point two, this is early access, so most features aren't available in the launch window. We've even had Digital Foundry tell us that per the specs on the server blades, they're more than capable of omitting 4K60. That in all likelihood, the reason why we're not getting consistent 4K60 is because the people have to get used to the platform. You know what I'm saying? Now, people may be upset that Stadia launched before people got used to the platform, but to fall under this notion that the, the product cannot omit 4K60, it just isn't possible, it's not factual. The people that are even doubting this, the people that I even don't like their, their analysis because it's because it's flawed have even admitted that that's not the case. It's just not being produced right now for other factors, okay? Point number three, which people gloss over this. You pay $10 a month now for Xbox Live or PlayStation Network on top of the price of your games anyway. How is this any different? So basically, during this early access period, you buy a controller, you buy a unit. The combo of that controller and unit is $130. You get three months of the Xbox Live or PlayStation Network equivalent for free. After this early access period, going into 2020, if you want the top-notch fidelity mode, you will pay $10 a month like you do for Xbox Live. If you want to just be able to play it, then you'll be able to do it for free on top of the purchase of your games okay now that price model for some of these older games i know leaves a taste uh, a bad taste in some people's mouth considering that some of these games can be bought for cheaper on other platforms and there's not a lot of games that can be purchased right now and again i beckon back to this is early access this is not ready for, for mass consumption yet. This is, why, this is why they call it Founders. This reminds me of EA Origins, when EA Origins first released. This was not for mass consumptions, EA Origins wasn't. Or, or EA Access, I meant. EA Access was just for those that were interested in the service that started off early. When the service really picked up steam and became something for everybody, then it was like, you know, the full retail release. But for those early adopters, EA sent those people hard drives because they said, hey, look, we know at the beginning of this, we didn't have the full kit and caboodle. So we appreciate y'all, here goes a gift. Hopefully Stadia will do the same thing, but they at the early access, they're at least loading us with free access to the top tier service, which again, may not do full 4K60, but as far as I'm concerned, it's still high fidelity, and I'd rather have closer to 60 frames per second, better than anything I'm getting on any console. I'd rather have that than have some damn resolution, period. You know what I'm saying? We're talking resolution here. So when you have better frames, that, that, that helps out the visuals anyway. We're not talking about textures. We're talking about resolution, okay? So I'll take that over console anyway if my console if i had a choice with my consoles to do an uh, upscale 4k that's like a 1440p or something like that with 60 frames per second opposed to full 4k but 30 frames i'm taking the i'm taking the 60 frame option all the time for instance i gave on low refresh rate gaming monitors I prefer my 1440p monitors because those things can refresh to 120 hertz, 144 hertz. And I'd rather take that than my 60 hertz 4K monitor, even though that's only at three milliseconds refresh rate uh, uh, um, or st the speed. I forget the, the name loses me right now. The, the response speed. It's still a low response speed, but I get to G-Sync and free sync my other ones. I'd rather have those frames 
The frames are more important to me and they help out the visuals. All right, if that makes sense, you know? But with that said, on top of that, here goes the clear cut benefits. I don't need to deal with buying extra terabyte hard drives, load times, everything is stored in the cloud, saving me money in the long run. Let me give you an example. So I'm testing out all these cloud platforms. Um, I wanted to play Fallout 76 on both PlayStation Remote and the Xbox Remote. And this is all in network. So I was doing the console streaming thing. I had to download new packs and that took forever. All right. I don't got to do that with Stadia. Once there's an update for a game on Stadia, it's, the, it's instantaneous. All right. And I ain't got to buy extra terabyte hard drive, spend $200 for this. Um, uh, uh, erase this off my hard drive and do this. Check my hard drive and see if it, I ain't got to do all that. Okay. For the same price that you're playing for PlayStation or Xbox, plus the same price that you're playing, you're paying for um, Xbox Live and PlayStation Network. I get all that and without having to buy extra, extra hard drives. In addition, for a fraction of the price, I get performance comparable to the most, the world's most powerful console at $129 opposed to $499. And again, to me, I'd rather have the frames and upscale resolution for crying out loud than be set at 30 frames per second or a sub 30 frames per second. This thing is buttery smooth, baby. Whether you're playing it on a, a browser or you're playing it on a Chromecast it's but or on your phone. It's buttery smooth and wherever it's played, it's the best cloud performance period, okay? And lastly, if I game on the go, like I just said, I get the best cloud performance bar none. X Cloud is the worst performance and it's inconsistent. It is very inconsistent, right? And this is the part that upsets me about a lot of these big name YouTube entities, people with Patreons, you know what I'm saying? With personal Patreons and stuff like that. They're gonna say what's popular because they're gonna follow the outrage culture and they want those clicks and they want that money. The thing that bothers me the most is entities like Digital Foundry that are so positive about xCloud when xCloud is the laggiest service of them all. It looks pretty, but it performs horribly when you perform, when you compare it to its peers. When you compare, let's take Stadia out the, out the picture. Let's just compare it to Shadow's beta format uh, 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 platform because they do have a separate beta platform. And NVIDIA Geoforce Now in beta. They run circles around Project X Cloud. Xbox is the richest company in the world. The only people that they battle with is who? Google. This doesn't make any sense. But you got entities like Digital Foundry with an agenda that's making it seem like the Project X Cloud is the place to be. Let's take Stadia out of the equation. Project X Cloud is pathetic. It's pathetic. But you don't hear that from them. They clearly have an agenda just because you're getting free. Now, if you want if you want to go out and have a triple A or you know, five you want to go to a five-star restaurant and I tell you, well just go to the Golden Corral. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you go come back, you shake the hell out of me. Hey, I had a big time date. You embarrassed the hell out of me. Tell him uh, suggest I go to Golden Corral. Why would you suggest them? Well, they have more they have more to offer for a cheaper price. That's not what you asked for. You asked for tip-top performance. So if you're a digital foundry, you're supposed to be gauging for tip-top performance. You're not doing that if you're sitting there telling bogus stuff like Project X Cloud is so superior. It's not. They just offer you more stuff. But that more stuff does not perform well. Where are the comparisons of Borderlands? You know what I'm saying? To the other platforms. Where is the comparison to Shadow of the Tomb Raider? You were so quick to compare visuals of Shadow of the Tomb Raider to the Xbox One X. How about doing a comparison of Shadow of the Tomb Raider on a, a, a Pixel phone versus Project X Cloud on the same phone? I've done it, and I can tell you that the results are astounding. There's no question who the clear winner is. So, with that being said, 
I get it. Homies like my, my, my boy Cold Blood Sensei, they may not have the resources or they may not care to do all this stuff. They're just listening to your boy MM2K, listening to Stadia Dosage just for the entertainment value. But they hear something that they may not agree with and then they go to the bigger entities and they fall in line with them. I'm here to tell you that if I wanted to, I look, I'm, ver I'm fully self-aware. If I wanted to, I could be having followers by telling lies like everybody else. I'm here to tell you the truth. I did not plan on sticking with the Stadia platform once they announced that you had to get a Google Pixel phone in order to play their games on the go. That was my only personal use for the system. Everything else was for y'all. When I found that out, I said, I gotta buy another phone, it ain't worth it. But then something said, no, do it for the people. So I did it. And I didn't do it to be, you know, because, I, and I'm capping for it because uh, 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 I had to purchase it. I bought Shadow's service and it sucks. And I paid $25 a month for that. Just to test it out for y'all, I don't need it. So it's not about me spending my money. I'm doing this because it's the truth. It's the truth. So with that being said, I just wanted to, to, to show y'all some of the discussions that I have with some of my big time supporters. And again, I get why they 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 perceive things this way. It's easier to follow a big number, a person with a big number next to their name and take what they're saying for truth. But that's what they're expecting you guys to do. They're, ex they're not expecting you guys to go out and spend and double check behind them to do what we call in my industry QCing, quality control. They're not expecting you to do the quality control. Why waste the money and do that? So-and-so got a million followers. He's telling the truth. Digital Foundry got so many followers and they, and they got name recognition. They're telling the truth. And I'm here to tell you otherwise. I know from experience. I'm willing to make the sacrifice to show y'all the truth. And hopefully y'all appreciate that. Y'all ain't got to agree, but y'all can appreciate that. I'm not sitting here trying to cap or lie for anybody. I'm, you're going to get nothing here but what? The truth. But with that said, that's it from your boy. I hope you appreciate it my passionate rant, and again, big up to the big supporter of my platform, Cold Blood Sensei, you know what I'm saying? Y'all showing the respect that he deserves. He's been supporting your boy since day one, through thick and thin, agree or not, you know what I'm saying? But who cares what I think at the end of the day, like I always say? Tell me what you think in the comment section below, and like I always say, if you like what you heard, then follow me on the clicks below, you know what I'm saying? You can find me with the Broadband Bullies, with PNTS Network, and with HNDC, along with the State of Dosage platform. With that being said, I appreciate all of y'all, and as always, have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.